Setting up multi-track recording can be confusing and time consuming. But in this video, I'm gonna show you all you need to know along with a few tips to get you up and running quickly. On top of that, I'll show you a great trick that will speed up your workflow for any projects you do in the future. Okay, so looking at Reaper, you can see I've got a new track set up here. It's armed and it's recording input one. So that's where my SM58 here is plugged in and uh, you can see it's picking up my voice. But what if you wanna record a second channel? So I've currently got my SM58 plugged into my Focusrite Solo two-channel interface, which is then going into the PC. You'll notice on the Focus, obviously it's got two channels. So I've got my mic into one and I maybe want to record a guitar in the other or any other instrument I like. Um, so to do that, I need to set up a second track. So back into Reaper, I'm going to double click, set up a second track here. I'm going to arm it. And then in this drop down here, I'm going to go into mono, input two, and that's going to pick up whatever is plugged into the second channel on the interface, which is great if you're only doing two tracks. It's nice and quick. You can set your recording and be on your way recording your vocals and guitars at the same time, easy peasy. But what if you want to record a drum kit or even a full band? In that case, you're going to need a bigger audio interface, something like the Soundcraft Signature 12 that I've got here, um, which can record up to 12 inputs at once. So that's ideal for a drum kit or whatever it is you're recording there, live sessions, rehearsals, or anything like that. So in a case like that, instead of just manually clicking each track and assigning it like this, there's a quicker way, which is the routing matrix. So back into Reaper, if we imagine we want to do five channels for our drum kit, uh, kick, snare, uh, toms, and a couple of room mics. Yeah. So with our channels now set up in Reaper, we go up and click on view and then routing matrix. There's also the shortcut of Alt-R, which will get you there quicker if you're going to be dotting in and out of this thing quite quickly. And once the routing matrix loads up, you can see it's got a column and a row for each input and output of your interface. So with the focus right currently plugged in, you can see input one from the interface is set up to our kick channel. You can see the input two from the interface is set up to the snare channel. These are both armed to record, uh, but we've also got the Tom and room mics also coming from input one. So if I was to record at the moment, I would just get the same one input repeated over on those four channels, which is no good for anyone. So now if we go into the routing matrix and set each one of the inputs from the interface to each one of the channels in Reaper. Something else you can do while you're here in the routing matrix is to do an extra click on each one and that will actually arm the channels so they're ready to all record. You can see in the outputs at the minute, because I'm still plugged into the focus right, I've only got the two outputs. So let's switch over to the Soundcraft and see how that looks with the routing matrix. So if we go into options and then preferences or control P as a shortcut, so then you set the interface that you want to switch to and you also need to make sure that it's set to all the channels that you want to use for the interface. So I'm going to set it to all actually 14 in inputs here if you count the uh, extra ones on the back and 12 outputs. If you've got this just set to the two that the focus right had, you're only going to record with the first two channels from the Soundcraft, which you don't want. So with all the channels set up, I'm now going to need to just unplug my mic from the Focusrite and put it into the Soundcraft. So now with the Soundcraft plugged in, looking at the routing matrix, we can see there's way more inputs and outputs that are available for recording. So I've set up here, you can see there's still just the five channels in Reaper that we had originally set up for the drums and rooms, room mics, and those are armed and set to the first five channels in the Soundcraft desk. So with that all set up, you can see now all the mics are going into each channel in the interface and each channel in the interface is going to a different channel in Reaper. So now when we hit record, you can see all five channels recording at the same time. And as I hit each different mic, a different signal is being sent to each one. And when you click stop, you get the usual message. Instead of asking if you want to save that one wave file that you've recorded before, you're now asked to save all five or however many mics it is that you have set up. But there's one more tip I want to show you that will help you in the future for any more recordings you do after this point. So we've set up the mics for our first song on our album. We want to record 12 songs. And this has taken five minutes. So if we can do this once instead of 12 times, that saves us an hour's work. So if you're recording a drum kit or a whole band, you can set up a template that will have all of these mics and inputs all set up to ready to record for each song rather than doing this every time you want to start a new song. So now we've got our input set up in our routing matrix, we can just click file and save, and save that as a template. And then each time we start a new song, open the template and use that as the starting point. Uh, obviously don't overwrite the template, or you're gonna end up having to do it all again. But this is a great starting point that will help speed things up for you and uh, really increase the workflow. 
There we go. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, then do please consider subscribing. I'll be posting more videos like this, as well as other fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.